uh, let's see what we got here. Cag bag? Sure. I think it's time for cag bag. Let's go to Mr. Uh, I need glasses. I'm sorry to say. Mr. Nuclear Monster. Mm -hmm. What is Wombat's favorite Fortnite skin? Desert time? Island, Desert Island Fortnite skins. Wombat. I know, like I have to think. I like there's part of me, you know. There's a couple of skins that I really like that I. Although I've, this one I've been seeing more often, and it kind of bums me out. Is I really like my Daredevil skin. I also really like my Ant Man skin. If you but could I only think, keep five skins, all your content is being burned in a fire. Except, except for five. five. I mean, it would, and you can only save five. Okay, so I'm keeping Deadpool. <laughs> Okay. I'm keeping Jonesy in the suit. They'd probably all be battle pass skins because those are the ones that... Is that know, the banana? Like... No, Jonesy in a suit. Like Jonesy's in a... not the banana. Jonesy's no, Duke. He... Jonesy's the Duke oh. of Fortnite. What's this the banana's him... name? Peely. Peely. Okay, I knew that. Peely. Yeah. No, this okay, is... I'm sorry. So Jonesy in the suit, Daredevil. Jonesy, uh, sure. We'll keep... No, Dare... uh, Deadpool. Deadpool. We'll do dead Deadpool. So dead Deadpool... Jonesy in a suit. Let's go with uh, Midas because people like Midas. The new one? No. Oh. Midas, Midas original. OG oh. Midas. What about Spider Man? Uh, I was, literally was going to be the next thing I say was going to okay. be Spider Man. That's four, right? Uh, yeah, that's four. And let's go with. Oof, I will, now I only have one left. It's hard. That's a really hard. I don't know because now it's like oh, and then everything else goes away. This yeah, it's part gone. Of me that wants, you can't get it. You can only use part of five. me wants to say Iron Man, but then there's part of me that's like, but there's there's so many other. Yeah, you know, I could say The Rock. That uh, the, rock? the Rock. You don't care about The Rock. The rock. That was a cool skin. No, it's I never use that. Um, <laughs> I like the, well, skin, man, the fire is raging. You're gonna lose them all if you don't choose one more. You're only gonna have uh, four. I'm gonna go with the Raz skin because it's also a skin that I'm like I think I'm the only person who likes it. So all right, well I'm sorry for your loss, but at least yeah. you have those five. Mm -hmm. You can rebuild though, maybe. I know, and that's off the dome too. I'd have to kind of really look through. I have so many skins though; it's really sad. You can revise. You're allowed to revise your list and release it on the social media platform of your choice. I'll I'll see the Spider Man. The the comic book Spider Man skin though is pretty dope. They did a really good job on that skin details lots of fine details nice mm -hmm. uh pim writes in he says hello big fan of your show for years thank you for the entertainment you guys are awesome uh, i'm visiting new york for a weekend trip week trip next month from from the netherlands and have no plan besides the base tour spots do you guys have any lesser known recommendations in the area spots that are fun for people who like board or video games best food things you think a european should experience I haven't been to Manhattan in such a long time. I feel here's a couple of spots that I think are fun. Uh, the Oyster Bar in Grand Central Station, I mm. think, is a unique. A you, it's it's touristy and not touristy all at the mm -hmm. same time. Oh, check so out think, our subway shootings. So I think that's a I think that's a fun spot. You also get to check out Grand Central Station, which is worth worth checking out. And again, you go to the Oyster Bar and you can get some raw oysters. And you know, it's they have a really good they like a sampler of oysters where you get a dozen of all the different oysters from all over the country. So since you're visiting from another country, you could try U S oysters. Uh, I also Hit up recommend Wombat and he'll come with you to the restaurant and tell you what to order. I would love to go to the oyster bar again. I've been there in so long. I actually recommended it to someone not that long ago and they said it's still great. So the oyster there bar, you go. Yeah. I would also say if you're feeling adventurous, you go to Chinatown and go to Wohop. That's like the that's where you go in Chinatown. Not now when you go to Wohop, there's going to be a storefront up top with the big windows, and then if you look over, there's going to be a stairway down to like a cellar. That's where the real Wohop is. So you got to walk down the stairs to get to the real Wohop, and that's where you want to go in the dungeon. In the dungeon and get an egg roll. Any video game stuff that he should do besides? He's, I'm sure he knows about the Nintendo store, like right. Bark Barcade. I guess there's a couple of Barcades. I don't know. Who's, you don't go to Manhattan to play video games, right? The Intrepid yeah. is cool. Go to the Intrepid. Intrepid is cool. Intrepid's fun. That's the that's the aircraft carrier museum. Mm -hmm. Central Park Zoo is always nice. You have zoos in the Netherlands. Well, they probably do, but you know, this is a zoo in the middle of Manhattan, right? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Check out the National Guard in the subway. You don't have guns in the Netherlands, so you can you can check out our guns. Um what else? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Crazy homeless that's, people. I guess. Broadway? That's Peter like Pan a thing. on Broadway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> don't make eye contact with people that look like they might not have all their mental facilities. Mm. That's my that's my advice as I think, a Dutch I think person. he'll be all right. Yeah, he'll be fine. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You go to the strip house and get the chocolate cake. That's a that's always a good experience too. How fast can you run, Pim? That's just you may want to start practicing your <laughs> your cardio. I can't even. I, actually, no, I know when the last time I was in Manhattan was, but it's like I haven't really been to Manhattan in forever. I have. I go all the time. I know you do. I'm like I'm never there, so I don't know. Don't ask me. All right, I go to hang out with Ben. Ben from our our favorite Ben Gilbert, who hosts the I Smoke New York podcast. Remember that? Go to Linktree. I S N Y. You can get all those links. By the way, Wamet, do you know what else we have? What? We have an Instagram account, CADCast, what? CADCast Podcast, and you can watch reels of our show. You know what a reel is? That's like a short snippet from the show. Yeah, it's like a minute or so. Are you going to make a, a reel about us promoting reels for no. a reel? No, because they're already there at that point. Oh, I see. Would not have much purpose, probably. Glad to see you're keeping it real. Mm, I found a cool like app that makes it easy to make, well, easier to make those. And it uses AI and other cool shit. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's Instagram. That's uh, what is it? Cadcast Podcast. Our latest one has like 2,000 views already. That's bananas. I, was- I checked it out. There were. 2,000 views, no comments. Is that like a thing on Instagram? Just no one cares? Reels, yeah. I mean, you got to get more views than to get comments. When you start getting like 10,000 views, you get comments. Fair. But you should leave comments on them because then it gets more views. Mm -hmm. You wombat, I'm saying. Okay, I'll leave a comment. Just like troll people about various things. I'll go the the guy with the glasses. Sure is handsome. (laughs) Right. Should do that. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Any parting thoughts, Chip? Anything you want to add before we say goodnight? Did you know that Klipsch is the official home speaker of X Men ninety seven? Like that's the speaker they have in the in the mansion. I assume so. I mean, it is a mansion. You're going to have they made it. That's very weird. I've never this product placement in a cartoon. I'm trying to think. Think about that. Has that happened? Like. Besides the actual just, like action figures that they used to sell, like that, I mean, the, cur- the cartoons are literally nothing but. I know, like, but I, so I'm trying to think like, a, but a third party like product yeah. placement. That's hmm. Cool. What kind of speakers? Which which model? Do you know? I, I don't know. I literally just got an email. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. I wonder if we have the same ones. Maybe like uh, me and the mutants have a lot in common. All right. Oh, there they are. Yeah, there it is. Thank you. New Era Uncanny Sound. The official home, sp- the official home speaker of the X-Men 97. Now, does X-Men 97 have like a different like car speaker sponsor? Probably. Interesting. I think you're right. overthinking this. <laughs> well, I guess. I don't know. It's a little disturbing. I know. Okay. Seems, seems pointless. Seems very pointless. Like who would spend money on that sponsorship? Like they're going to sell. Are they going to sell Oh, one speaker from that sponsorship. <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't know. I've got some coming, but I didn't know. Like, I should have waited for this sponsorship to happen. They're not X Men speakers. It's just the X Men pictures no, next to the speaker. It's just, it's just the official host speaker of X Men ninety seven. Yeah, yeah. Of this cartoon on Disney Plus. I don't get it. It's bizarre. I don't speakers know. though, I, you know. they are good speakers. I agree. All right, well, I look forward to watching that episode and see if I can actually spot any clips. Hey, Wombat, you watched the episode. Do you remember any speakers in the episode? No. You don't... Actually, they do go to a dance club. Uh-huh. So maybe they were speakers, and I just didn't notice that right. they were, if they were those speakers. Some heresies in there? Heresy mm-hmm. fours? 